Hello, and welcome to the continuation of the storyline, Avengers vs X-Men. Today is shock. A plane is on its way to Utopia 10 days after the Phoenix combined the five X-Men, and Magneto is waiting for it. The Professor X is the one who emerges from it, and they both greet each other before Magneto continues to show Xavier the brand new Utopia that the Phoenix built. As they ascend, they talk about their pasts before meeting Cyclops at the summit. Because of the power he wields, Scott informs Xavier that he is aware of the purpose of his visit. After that, Cyclops updates Xavier on what the Phoenix Five have accomplished using their talents, including putting an end to poverty, pollution, and the distribution of free clean energy. Cyclops responds that, mankind will accept the future, when Xavier informs him of how people are reacting to this. The professor reveals his belief that they, cheated, in order to reach this new world and that no compensation was received. Scott serves as a reminder of the gloomy history of his species, and the professor mentions having given Charles his dream. In Avengers Tower, Captain America is speaking with a battered Iron Fist about the outcome of their most recent mission, which involved taking down a Hydra base in Helsinki. During that mission, they had to contend with an army of creatures resembling Zaks that had set off a NATO beacon in Estonia. As they were about to collapse, Colossus saved them by persuading the creatures to serve as a source of free energy. Cap enters the tower's laboratory after terminating transmission to find Iron Man, Black Panther, and Beast examining the Phoenix's telemetry, which Wolverine claims is hope. While Black Panther claims that the Phoenix Five have used their influence to improve the world, Wolverine and Iron Man begin discussing their plans to kidnap Hope and use deadly force to defeat the Phoenix. The Phoenix Five are disgusting, and Beast interrupts them by agreeing with Black Panther's earlier assessment of them. He also expresses his distaste that the Avengers are devising strategies to stop and or exterminate them. He exits and declines to play any further part in their scheme. Returning to Utopia, Hope is observing from above when Cyclops approaches her and informs her that she is not required to remain, and that she is free to leave if she so chooses. Then Scott explains to her about the Phoenix Force, how she no longer merits it, and how she could never have wrought the same havoc on the planet that they did. Hope informs him that the Phoenix is still audible and that it is dissatisfied with his conduct. As a result, Sentinels, weapons, nuclear missiles, and carriers are all removed from the Earth by Magic, Emma Frost, Colossus, and Neymar. When Thunderer meets an elderly librarian in Kun Lun while on high alert due to the Phoenix, he asks for the Book of the Fallen, which contains the tale of Fongji and the appearance of the Phoenix in the 16th century. After the lecture, the librarian informs Thundra that, you need the Iron Fist. Captain America and the President are discussing the recent acts of the Phoenix five three days later in the White House. And a few days prior, they made an offer at the UN to keep assisting the world in exchange for peace utopia. The President states that even though the Phoenix Five have done a lot of good, the X-Men are no longer responsible for their acts and something needs to be done about them. In another illustration, the Phoenix is seen approaching and destroying the Avengers while they are dressed in their original shape. The Scarlet which appears in the vision and declares, this is what comes next. Back at the Avengers Tower, Mockingbird is updating the other Avengers, who are traveling by jet, on the mission status. For Hope, they are traveling to Utopia. Hope is the key to understanding the Phoenix Force, according to Captain America, who made this statement during the mission briefing hours before. They finally cross the skies of Utopia and begin their assault. Despite sensing their coming, Emma and Scott don't appear to be alarmed. Finally, Cyclops dons his disguise and declares that they must deal with the Avengers on their own. Hope is being defended by Velocidad, but Thor knocks him out and grabs her instead. Wolverine can sense Cyclops approaching when Rogers orders the pullout. He lashes out at Captain America when he gets there. Emma Frost fends off attacks from Spider-Woman and Widow, and when she strikes back with a lethal energy burst, Iron Fist blocks it to protect his friends. Surprisingly, the blast had little effect on him because he was shielded from it by an energy field bearing the Xiangshong sign, but Cyclops' optic blast quickly knocked him aside. Thor and Iron Man are still defending Hope, but with just a gesture, Scott is able to remove Tony's armor. He is able to stop them Jolna when Thor attacks and blast Thor away. As soon as Emma senses, Chaos, approaching, the Scarlet Witch arrives. Wanda says she has seen what will happen and begs Scott to halt for the welfare of both human and mutant kind. She says, they will go with her when Cyclops mentions that they are invaders. When Scott reacts, Hope states that she wants to travel with her rather than with the Avengers. 
Wanda's chaos energy actually hurts Cyclops when he tries to grasp her, which surprises Cyclops. Scott tells Emma that he believes that every time the mutants are moving progress, humanity pushes them back after Wanda teleports Hope and the Avengers away. He is aware that despite all the hate and mistrust that humanity has placed upon mutant kind, people would still send their heroes to defend them and uphold their moral standards. But he will say, no more Avengers, to end it, 